Good morning, guys. Out here at the pond, gonna do some bass fishing. See what I can get on the spinner bait. Super calm out. Beautiful morning. I'm excited for what we'll do today. This little pond has very, very clear water. So typically a rule of thumb is if you're fishing clear water with these spinner baits, uh, you typically want to try a translucent or a white color. It's not always the case, um, but that's a good rule of thumb. That's been the most productive, especially uh, a lot of the pro anglers. That's what they'll advise you. Looks like we'll have a little overcast today. Not much wind. Typically, like if I'm gonna throw a spinner bait, I like throwing it, you know, when there's a little bit more wind, a little bit more chop on the water. But you now, one of the reasons you're seeing me throw the spinner bait more often is because you know I haven't been using it as much as I would like when I'm fishing, and I just want to build more confidence. And the best way, guys, to build confidence in your bait is to go out and use it, force yourself to use it. Figure out how how to use it, and um, I mean that's that's the best advice I can give you is just be persistent with it, even though it might not be your favorite thing to throw, and you get that urge to pick up, say, a worm or a senko or something of that nature. Yeah, we all know those will catch fish, but picking up that bait that you may not be. Uh, too enthused about could produce something uh, of larger of a larger scale and it was kind of funny because the other day we were out fishing me and a buddy and I was catching a ton of fish you know I was throwing a worm or a senko I should say and I was catching a whole lot of fish but the fish were smaller and he all he was throwing really was a spinner bait and the spinner bait seemed to produce larger fish. I mean, they were just, they were nailing it. Every single one of them were three, four pounders. Whereas the mine, you know, the ones I was uh, catching were, you know, maybe 10, 12 inches. So sometimes it's very true that that bigger profile bait will actually produce larger fish that's that's actually true it does it is it is uh, a fact larger baits equals bigger fish fish home A little fish. First fish of the morning. We'll take it. Oh, there he is. Nailed it. Look at this big old girl. Not bad. She plumped that sucker right away. Skinny.
There he is. Good fish. Maybe not as big as I thought. Oh, not nearly as big as I thought he was. Easy little feller. There we go. Not too bad. Gotta find a bigger brother though. There he is. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice, nice fish. Came up out of the grass. Pulling us all over the place. Oh. He's healthy, fellas. Look at that one, guys. Look at that fish. Guys, this is why you fish spinnerbait right here. He's every bit of four pounds. Beautiful. Got a nice one on, guys. He just did a very acrobatical jump. Another good fish here. There we go. He smoked that spinner bait too. Man. Another good fish. Couple pounder. Got him right in that side there. Nice. There he is. That's a good one, guys. Oh, he got off. Dog on it. That was a big fish, boys. That little four pounder, three and a half pounder, four pounder I caught earlier, didn't budge that drag. That last one I just had was, he was pulling drag on strike. But it's a problem with sitting down sometimes. Kind of mess yourself up. I got him, fish on. Not that big pig I just miss, but he's a fish. Oh, off we came. 